here and then we'll have a chance to go interact with some of our adult octopus. Here we're research campus. Instead we're doing um, research to figure out how to complete the life cycle of uh, octopus so that we don't have to go out and get them off the reefs. So the number one reason why we take them off the reefs in Hawaii is for food. It's a very big food source in Hawaii, it always has been. But you might not see octopus on the menu, instead you might see the word taco. It's spelled T-A-K-O. That's a Japanese word for octopus. The second reason is for live bait. It's a very popular live bait source because we take, uh, you put them on the hook and they flash and they wiggle around and big fish love this. So fishermen like to use them to catch big fish like marlin, ahi, um, mahi. We actually get our adults here that you're going to be interacting with. They're wild caught. Instead of these guys ending their life on the hook, they get to live the rest of their lives out here. So octopus are actually the most sustainable thing you can get off the reefs here in Hawaii. And it's because of three reasons. The first reason is their lifespan. So a year is very close. This species is about a year to a year and a half. It's very typical for octopus species. They don't live very long, which is why they're very good for aquaculture, because they'll get to their maximum size in a short amount of time. The second reason why they're sustainable is that they grow very quickly. This species can get up to 20 pounds in the wild, but these guys you're going to be interacting with today, they're under 5 pounds. We don't want any 20-pound octopus crawling all over you guys, so we have some smaller guys for you to interact with today. The last reason why they're sustainable is that they have high fecundity, meaning they produce a lot of little babies. So has anyone touched an octopus before? So if you haven't touched a live one, it's a bit weird. The tops of their arms are very soft. It might even be a little slimy because they have a mucous membrane that protects their skin. The bottom where all their suckers are can be kind of sticky. And so that's how they're going to stick to you today. Your first reaction might be to rip your hand out of the tank. We ask that you please don't do this because it'll spook them. It can also hurt their arms and their skin. And it can also rip them out of the tank. There's two things I have to warn you of. They all have a beak. It's a little, like a little parrot's beak and it sits inside their body where all the arms come together. They also all have a siphon. It's a little stubby straw that they breathe out of and it moves from side to side behind their head. And it, um, that's what they use to breathe out of. So they spray water very fast and very accurately. <laughs>
Bourbon Trail. Hello and welcome to Honolulu. 